guys, so I was about to get ready this morning and I realised that I haven't done a video since like last week I don't think. So I'm trying to get on the weekly schedule, so I thought I would do my um, everyday makeup routine for you. Um, this is pretty much what I've been doing since like Christmas time. Um, I got a palette off Frankie for Christmas and it's just like the best palette ever. So like the majority of my face is from that palette. Um, so yeah, it's been pretty samey for like the past couple of months. So I figured I'd show you what I do. And um, yeah, I hope you like the video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. What the hell was that? <laughs> so the first thing I like to do is apply my concealer. Um, the one I'm using at the moment is Collection 2000's Last Imperfection. Um, this one is pretty much my favourite concealer and I repurchase it all the time. It's basically the only one I use because it is just the best. I apply it on my under eye circles and on any blemishes I have and I also get a bit of redness on my nose so I just put it on my nose as well. The foundation I'm using at the moment is Revlon's Colourstay. I am in um, 150 Buff. Again, Revlon Colourstay is pretty much the foundation that I go back to if I um, don't really want to look around and test a lot of foundations. Um, I'll usually like tr test out a new one in between, but I usually end up going back to the Colourstay or the Photo Ready. The brush I'm using to apply it is a Royal and Lanical one and it is the C141 which is a um, flat top foundation brush. Um, it really does apply the foundation really nicely and it leaves you with a nice finish. Then at this point I would um, apply a little bit more concealer purely because I have really bad um, under eye circles so I do like to try and cover them up as much as possible. The powder I'm using at the moment is the Rimmel London one. It's the um, clear complexion one. It's just like a natural mineral powder and it is in transparent so there's no colour to it. It's just purely for setting the foundation. Um, I apply it with an e.l.f. brush, um, it's the powder brush I think, yes it's the powder brush. Um, I use sort of dabbing motions to sort of press it in to the foundation as opposed to just sweeping it all over the face. Then the blush out I'm using is out of the um, NARS Guy Bourdin collection, I've probably just completely butchered his name, but it is out of that palette and it is the Crime of Passion Palette and I don't know what the blush is, I think it's Orgasm, I have to check to make sure, um, if it's something else then I'll pop a little annotation in. Um, I apply it with a MAC 109 and um, I put it on the apples of my cheeks and sort of drag it up my cheekbone a little bit. Then the first thing I usually do with my eyes is apply my eyeliner, I don't know why I put it on first but that's just what I usually do. Um, the one I'm using is a model's own one, um, I got this at the clothes show, it's just like a plain brown one, I don't know if it has a specific name but it's just like a regular brown eyeliner really. Then for my lid colour I am using the NARS palette again, I'm using the sort of champagne-y beige colour and I'm applying it with a Royal Alanical brush, um, it is the C403 which is apparently for cream eyeshadow, but I just use it for regular eyeshadow. Then I like to apply the brown colour in my outer corner and my crease. Um, the brush I'm using again is by Royal Nanical and it is um, the C421 which is a line and smudge brush.
Then I will get a blending brush and um, blend the eyeshadow out a little bit so it's not as harsh. Um, again, I'm using another Royal Anonical one. Um, I really do like their brushes. I think they're really nice and they do the job perfectly. The mascara that I'm using is the Rimmel London Scandalize, uh, the Retro Glam one. Um, this is the one with the funky wand. Um, I'm absolutely in love with this mascara. I think it is amazing. Um, it makes my eyelashes look really long. Uh, I used to have really long eyelashes as a little girl. And now um, that I've got older and I've started using mascara and stuff, they've thinned out a little bit and like they're not as long as they used to be. But this mascara really, really does make them look very long, which I like. Then for my eyebrows, I use Benefits Browsing. Um, again, this is literally like the only thing I'll use on my eyebrows. Um, I have quite thick eyebrows as it is, but um, they're a little bit too light and when you sort of go over them with foundation and stuff, they it, the foundation sinks into them and it makes them look even lighter. So I do like to fill them in so they match my hair colour a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I use Benefits Browsing. I think I'm in medium. And then I use an e.l.f. brush, I want to say. It doesn't actually have a um, name on it, but I think it's e.l.f. and it's just like an angled precision brush. And finally, for my lipstick, I like to use Max Hot Tahiti. Um, it's like a sort of really, really deep red. I like to use this pretty much every day. It's like not too bold but it's sort of, I think it suits me. It probably doesn't, but I think it does. Um, so I use this pretty much every day, but lately I've been liking using sort of a light peachy color. Um, the one I'm showing is an Avon one. Um, I'm not too sure of the name, but it's like just really nice shimmery peach. So that is everything and that is my everyday makeup routine. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope it helped maybe and I will speak to you all soon. Bye!